Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a pretty simple recipe. We're going to make um, turkey loaf meatloaf instead of beef meatloaf. It's a little bit healthier, not too healthy, but it is a healthier alternative. But let me go ahead and tell you what you need to go ahead and make it. You're going to need one Luca for this recipe. <laughs> Kidding. He's up and in a good mood. Kind of. So I thought I'd feature him a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so here's an overview of what you need. You're going to need about a half cup of some onions chopped. You're going to need two egg whites and one whole egg. Garlic powder. This is fennel. And I don't really like fennel. I barely put any, but fennel is usually pretty good with anything that's like tomato flavored so I'm gonna add just a little bit um, I'm just gonna call this W sauce because I can never pronounce this and I'm not gonna try also go ahead and just get any type of cheese that you would like your favorite tomato sauce be careful with the ingredients in your tomato sauce you always want to make sure that your first ingredients are if it'll focus basically just tomato and water because tomato sauces usually tend to have um, a whole bunch of sugar and corn syrup and all that good or nasty stuff. Next, you're going to need some breadcrumbs or oats. You're going to need some ground turkey instead of ground beef. Um, it's a little bit brown because I went ahead and put it in the microwave just to defrost a little bit. And if you get ground turkey, it should already be somewhat lean, but if it isn't, try to go for a lean that's higher than 90%. You're also gonna need some frozen spinach. All right, so while my oven is heating to 350, I went ahead and got my pan and I lined it with foil. This is, I believe, an eight by eight, but if you have a nine by nine, that also works. So you're basically putting all of your ingredients in a mixing bowl, so I'm going to have to kind of stop the camera and um, show you one by one. But anyway, I went ahead and put the um, ground turkey in here and I added just a little bit of Italian seasoning just because I felt like it at the last minute, so I'll go ahead and add that in the description later. Okay, so right now I'm adding a fourth cup of the tomato sauce. Next, add a half a cup of your breadcrumbs. Add your onions, garlic powder, little spoons of good old W sauce, fennel, about two tablespoons of cheese, then add your one whole egg and two egg whites and mix it all together. After you're done mixing all that up, you're gonna go ahead and put it in your pan. All right, so now that that's in there, I went ahead and got my spinach and a little bit more cheese, about three-fourths of a cup and about eight ounces of that frozen spinach that I went ahead and thawed. So after you get that together, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the middle of our mixture. Okay, so I kind of spread it everything out evenly and dug this hole and kind of put um, what I dug out on the side because that's where we're gonna put our cheese and spinach. Okay, so now that that's kind of in the middle, just smush it out, spread it out, and then take those chunks and kind of cover it. And then basically just spread it all around, kind of hide the spinach. And then after you're done with that, we're gonna put it in the oven to bake. Okay, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Just go ahead and keep an eye on. Okay, so while the meatloaf is cooking, I'm just going to hang out with Luca a little bit. I'm going to feed him, um, watch a little bit of cartoons with him, and I'll film a little bit of that just so you guys can see more of Luca. I know you've been asking for more of Luca, but like I mentioned in my last video, it is pretty hard to get footage of him when he wants to go to sleep as soon as I bring my camera out. He's just, he doesn't want to be filmed for whatever reason, so... I'm gonna just film him eating and hanging out, being cute. What are we eating, baby? Spinach? Mmm. He secretly hates spinach, but I definitely have to make 
like noises like that for him to get excited about it. More spinach? Yummy. I also let him watch SpongeBob, so he's in a little bit of a better mood. <laughs> Yeah? What else, baby? So Luke is going to be seven months on Friday, and he can almost sit up by himself, which I'm really proud of. And as you can tell, he's also trying to crawl, but he gets pretty frustrated um, quick there. And he also loves to store food in his mouth and spit it out later, as you can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, after being in the oven for about 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put some tomato sauce on top of it. So, just do about three-fourths cup. Okay, so after you put your marinara or your tomato sauce on top, go ahead and sprinkle cheese evenly all throughout your meatloaf and go ahead and um, set your oven back to 350 and we're gonna bake it for another 15 okay, minutes. Okay guys, and there is your end result. And if you can see, it should be bubbling just a bit. That's how you know it's ready. Also, you want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm sorry, I know another 10 to 15 minutes to um, cut into it because if you go ahead and cut into it now, it's basically going to fall apart. So just wait a little bit and then you can go ahead and serve it up. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I am trying very hard to get my husband in some of these vlogs, but he comes home pretty late and I do not want to film at night. It doesn't look right. We already tried it in the Q&A. So hopefully I can um, vlog in the weekend if we're not busy or working. Sorry, I just stuttered. Um, but I am trying to figure out when we're going to put those vlogs together. Anyway, um, I just want to take a quick sec and say thank you to everybody, all the subscribers that I have. You guys are so awesome. I love reading your comments so much and I love getting little Instagram messages from you guys saying, hey, you did a really good job. I really love this video. Um, can you do this? Can you do that? It makes me super happy because that's letting me know that you guys love watching my videos and that makes me really happy because I am starting to really enjoy making them for you guys. So, now that I'm all in my feels, again, thank you very much and please subscribe. Bye.